favourite little place to come and I'm out it's really only about five minutes away from the uh, the harbour itself the weather is a bit miserable today so the water looks quite dark and dramatic but yesterday and the day before it was turquoise teal beautiful Mediterranean colours up in Scotland don't know if anybody else finds crashing waves as therapeutic as I do much of him but that little floating belly is a seal. Well, I wasn't going to film today but um I saw pictures of where my dad intended for us to go at Cragside and I couldn't resist. It was the stately home owned by an engineer and a, a landscaper. And I've seen a lot of stately homes living in the UK so I wasn't particularly excited but it, I did see pictures of it and it did look incredible. So to explore Cragside we had to um, drive back down over the border into England. The gardens themselves were stunning and you get some incredible views of the state of the home itself. just popped down to Bambra um, or up I'm not sure I think we've come up to Bambra <laughs> you can see this impressive castle on the uh, on the beach side what I love about this place is just the sand dunes big wide beach lots of people lots of lovely waves it's a busy place um, there's another little um, seaside village just down the shore called uh, Sea Houses which is very very popular so it's a Friday afternoon like getting on to three if not past three and it is busy I think I'll be popping back over the Scottish border back to Eyemouth and see if I might do my routine cliff walk as well Hey, yo. 
Your own pace, you need to find your way I know now you'll never change your mind 